Over the centuries, courts, commentators, and lawyers developed a set of guiding principles known as the maxims of equity. One of those maxims is that equity looks to the substance and not merely the form. In McKinnon v. Benedict, the Wisconsin Supreme Court applied that principle to determine the fair interpretation of a loan agreement. In 1961, Roy and Evelyn Benedict bought Bent's Camp, an 80-acre resort located near Wisconsin's Mamie Lake. The resort included 14 cabins and a main lodge. Only five of the cabins were fit for resort purposes, and Mrs. Stuart Vare had a 50-year lease on one cabin for $5 per year. To make a down payment, the Benedicts borrowed $5,000 from Roderick and Dorothy McKinnon. The McKinnons owned 1,170 acres of land surrounding Bent's camp. As part of the loan agreement, the Benedicts promised to operate the camp as a family resort for the next 25 years and to make no additions to the property that would be closer to the McKinnons' property than the camp's then-existing buildings. In return, the McKinnons agreed to an interest-free loan promised to generate business for the camp and pledged to resolve the Vair lease issue. Over the next three years, the Benedicts spent $20,000 making improvements to the cabins. Despite their efforts, the camp wasn't profitable. In the fall of 1964, the Benedicts began installation of a trailer park and campground on the property. As soon as the McKinnons, who lived in Wisconsin only during the summer, learned of these changes, they filed suit, seeking specific performance of the loan agreement. At trial, the court ruled in favor of the McKinnons and entered an injunction prohibiting the Benedicts from further developing a trailer park and campground. The order also enjoined the Benedicts from using the camp for any purpose other than a summer resort until 1985. The Benedicts appealed to the Wisconsin Supreme Court. <laughs>